Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to set up macros using Logitech G Hub so that you can set up shortcuts on your mouse. Let's go ahead and open the G Hub application. While opening it up, this is the default screen which comes. So the important thing you have to note or keep in mind is to go here, up here, which says active profile, click here. And here you can add applications, whichever you want. So you just have to navigate through the program files and add applications. So once you added the application, close it and click on your device. If you have a Logitech keyboard, this that will show up here too. So once it's done, go ahead and choose it. And up here you can see that desktop option is default so let me change it to say premiere pro and you have to choose assignment option over here so there you go these are the commands that i've set using macro functions how did i do it let me show you how you can go to macros press on create new macro and you can name this macro so let me just say delete The next thing you have to do is go for no repeat option. If it's for gaming, you can use these options. Repeat while holding. So as long as you're holding the mouse click, it will keep on, say for example, in first person shooter games, if you're keeping on holding, uh, then the gun will keep on firing, say things like that. And this will be toggle and this will loop continuously. And this is sequence. So for applications mostly, we require this option, which is no repeat. So click that and press start now. And these are some options over here. We can even set to launch an application once one application is open. I hope you got it. So let's record keystroke. So now I'll go to my keyboard and press the delete button and press stop recording and save it so as you can see that i already have a delete here which i have assigned to this button so how do we assign these things now so all you have to do is click on it and drag it over here to this menu so that's the thing you have to do let me do one thing i have set everything except vlc so I'll do one thing, I'll create a new macro. And by the way, before I do this, you can already assign keys to your mouse, the keyboard keys. For example, there will be space key. Yes, I've already assigned it. Yeah, space key. I've assigned it for this button over here. So space is pause and play in VLC media player. So there are other options also. You can do it from here or if there are some complicated commands or something in VLC. Okay, playlist can be toggled by pressing Ctrl L. So what we can do is go to the software and assignments. Now that shortcut might be here or let's assume it's not here. So we'll go to macros, create new macro, name this macro, we'll say open playlist. Sorry for the typo, enter and choose this option, no repeat and start now. Press record keystroke, control L, stop recording, save. So let me assign this to, you can move it over like this. So DPI shift, which is not required in VLC, I'll assign it here. So now if I go to VLC and by the click, you can hear that I'm not using keyboard. If I press that button, the playlist is open. Very good, right? So see this, you have to keep in mind this. So now once we close VLC or move out of VLC, the default option is desktop. So 
Would you like to keep configuring VLC default? Yes should be the option. In case you forget to do the yes option, you can go here and change to VLC. So keep in mind you are assigning to VLC. You get the idea, I hope. So once you have set it, you can use the mouse buttons for everything. Let me just open Premiere Pro first. Let me change it to Premiere Pro. You don't have to change it each and every time. The software will automatically detect and the mouse will automatically be assigned to that application. So this is just to show you the things I've said. I don't want this. I just. Okay, so primary click and secondary click are right and left. So middle button is for saving. This button is for delete. This is for zoom out, which is the scroll wheel left. And this is for zooming in scroll wheel right. And this is the export option title. And once we come to the side, play, pause, reset tool and select tool. So I'll open Premiere Pro. And this is, as you can see, I'm pressing the scroll wheel towards the left and now towards the right. And now I'm pressing the eraser tool. Select tool. Play and pause. Export. I guess it takes some time. Yeah, see? And save. Title. I hope you got the idea. So Logitech G Hub can be, I mean the macros on your mouse or your keyboard can be used to set up multiple functions in various applications according to your liking and definitely for games so i don't play that much so you can be the better person for that say so here is a neat trick you can use for opening applications let's choose desktop and i don't know what this was for let's just delete it so in desktop i hope you know windows has an option in which these pinned items file explorer and so on all these can be opened using windows one if i press windows key and one file explorer will open up which is which is a frequently used app file explorer so windows 2 will open up spotify windows 3 will be firefox so out of these three let's say i'm using windows explorer and firefox quite commonly so what I'll do is go to GHub, create new macro, name this macro, let's say file explorer. Press enter, no repeat. So press start now. So press launch application and create new. Now let's go to Firefox. I guess it will be in program files. Mozilla, yeah, there you go. And this is the application. So we'll open it. Yes. So now a macro has been created which gives the command to launch Firefox. Let's save that. Now. Mm, Say I am assigning it to this is forward and back. Okay, this button. I'll use this button, DPI shift button. I'll assign it to that. Now, if I click that button, Firefox opens up. So keep in mind that it opens as a fresh application, not where you left off. So if you want the application to open where you left off you can use this shortcut keys which is windows 3 which i have mentioned before so i'll create a new macro and i'll call it firefox enter no repeat 
start now record keystrokes and windows 3 so stop recording save let me replace it and there you go firefox so now if i press that wherever i left it it will come back there pretty convenient right so file file explorer just like that let's create file explorer now repeat start now record record keystroke windows 1 stop recording and save this is this is the old one i guess so we'll go with this one let's say scroll left something is assigned there let's use that so there you go so this is a neat trick you can use to open applications so that's it for this video i hope you found this useful see you guys in the next one until then take care and stay safe